Hello there, this is Sublime Ant, and welcome to another video about compact production in Factorio. This time, we'll take a look at green circuits. Now, green circuits, there are some really classic builds for them, where it usually looks something like this, where we'll have copper cables being directly fed into some green circuit machines like this. And this is definitely pretty compact, which is nice but I think we can do something better. But to start off with, let's just start with this and see where it takes us. So, we're getting cables, we're building green circuits. Now we also need to put these somewhere and get some iron going. Alright. So, something like this. There we go. And what we can do is we can make a copy of this and simply put it on the other side. Something like like that. And let's just hook up the resources. Like that. So this is indeed a very compact build for green circuits and it is extendable. So just like that, now we have twice as many green circuits being made. So very nice. However, we can definitely build something more compact than this. And the thing that enables this is the recent changes to underground belt length that was introduced in version 0.15. So if you look at underground belts, if you have regular underground belts, the max distance they can go is 4 tiles. But now, since version 0.15, red underground belts can actually go 2 more tiles. And blue underground belts can actually go 2 extra tiles compared to red. So this means that my very common technique of going under assembly machines to create compact layouts can actually be improved, or there are more var var variations now. And one of them is this, so red belts can now go under two assembly machines. But that's all, we cannot go any further. However, blue underground belts, they can go under and even leave a tile here, which means we can get resources from an underground belt for two assembly machines. So that's very nice. We can create a lot of more interesting layouts. So let's apply that kind of idea to this. So what we can do is we can have the iron, instead of going where it is now, we can just have it go under the assembly machines like that. And you'll see here, I'll create a splitter here so we can access these iron belt content on yeah on both sides like this. And for output, let's just put them right here. And let's remove this old part here. So what we can do is we can just do this, which is a lot more compact compared to what we have had previously. And just to make this properly tileable, let's also add some extra up and down like that. Okay. And finally, same thing here. There we go. Now we have the exact, exact same yeah, flow of resources as the old design, but this one is actually two tiles smaller or less wide. And it can still be flipped like this. Let's 
just hook this up. You can already see how much smaller this is. So it's one, two, three, four tiles less wide, which is very nice. So let's just make sure everything is correct. Okay, it looks like I actually <laughs> put the splitters on the wrong side. But once that is corrected for, it should be up and running. So there you have it, a very compact yet extendable way of creating green circuits. So let's just show that this is indeed extendable. Just put another one copy right there. And there you have it.